Hi, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I'm so glad you're here today, whether you're just starting as a virtual assistant or you've been in the game for a while, you probably wondered, what skills do I really need to succeed? So our topic for today are, what are the most in-demand skills for virtual assistants? Today, we're going to talk about the most in-demand skills that can help you not just get by, but really thrive in this ever-growing field. Why are we discussing this? Because the virtual assistant world is booming. And while that's exciting, it also means there's more competition than ever. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by all the tools, tasks, and trends out there. Maybe you've even found yourself thinking, how do I keep up? What am I missing? Um, or what if I'm missing something important? So these are common worries. And trust me, you're not alone. The good news is by focusing on developing the right skills, you can set yourself apart from the crowd, deliver amazing value to your clients, and build a successful, sustainable VA business. So today we're going to break down the key skills that are in demand right now. We'll cover everything from communication and organization to some of the tech savvy skills that can really make a difference. Whether you're looking to refine your current skills or learn something new, this video is here to guide you on your journey. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's dive in together. Again, um, our goal is to empower each and every virtual assistant by giving them the right information for free. So without further ado, our topic is what are the most demand skills for virtual assistant? Again, hello everyone, and my name is Dave Lynn. I'll be your presenter today. I'm the founder of Virtual Forest Staffing Corp, and we're based here in Canada, but we have developed a pool of vetted and tested virtual assistants from the Philippines about us. Um, our company was established in 2023, and as an entrepreneur myself, I recognize the need for virtual assistants or VAs who could help with the growing demands of entrepreneurship, hence the birth of Virtual Forest Staffing Corp. And our mission is to provide businesses with a reliable and talented virtual workforce that can help them grow and succeed. Our vision is to be the leading provider of virtual workforce solutions, helping businesses around the world achieve their goals. And our goal is to provide high quality assistance at an affordable price while helping our clients achieve their business goals. Okay, so... Um, First, first uh, skill is communication skills, okay? And um, communication is actually the heart of what virtual assistants do. If, um, if you have time, please feel free to check our free video lesson or free course on introduction to effective communication for virtual assistants, okay? And uh, we've emphasized there that communication is not just about speaking or writing, but about connecting with your clients and their customers effectively, okay? So number one in communication is verbal communication. So um, we will have, uh, we should know the importance of clear and professional speech. And then um, we'll also give you some tips for effective phone and video call etiquette. Imagine you're a call, uh, you're on a call with a client who's frustrated because something didn't go as planned. Your ability to communicate clearly and professionally can turn the situation around. So when speaking, it's important to be clear and concise. For instance, during a video calls or phone conversations, avoid jargon and focus on delivering your message in a way that's easy to understand. A tip here is to practice your phone and video call etiquette, uh, simple things like speaking slowly, using a polite tone, and listening carefully can make a huge difference. Next is written communication. Um, the importance of written communication is when crafting um, professional emails and also effective messaging on platforms like Slack and Microsoft Teams, and also grammar and spelling accuracy. Writing. Writing is actually a big part of being a VA, especially when you're handling emails, 
messaging on platforms like Slack or uh, Teams or even drafting documents. So imagine you're crafting an email to a client about an important project update. You want to ensure your email is not only professional, but also clear and to the point, okay? Grammar and spelling matter, uh, matter a lot here. A quick tip is to use tools like Grammarly to double check your work before sending it out. And uh, because this really helps you avoid mistakes and ensure your communication is top notch. And again, it's um, another important um, uh, part of communication is active listening. So you have to learn the techniques of active listening, understanding client needs and responding appropriately. Active listening is more than just hearing what your client says. It's about truly understanding their needs. Let's say your client is explaining a complex issue they're facing instead of just nodding along. Try to engage by summarizing what they've said and asking clarifying questions. This shows you're fully engaged and helps you get to the root of their problem, which in turn allows you to offer the right solutions. And another um, major or in-demand skill that every virtual assistant um, should know or should possess is organizational skills, okay? Um, in organizational skills, being organized is essential for managing the various tasks that come with being a virtual assistant. So let's break this down further, okay? Uh, one is task management. You will be required to use, um, in, in your VA career, you will be required to use tools like Asana, Trello, and Monday.com. And uh, you have to learn how to prioritize tasks and meeting deadlines, okay? So as a VA, you'll often juggle multiple tasks for different clients. Um, tools like, uh, as I've mentioned, Asana, Trello, or Monday.com are your best friends. These platforms help you keep track of what needs to be done and when. Imagine you're working on a project that involves coordinating with different team members. Using a task management tool, you can assign tasks, set deadlines, and monitor progress. This ensures that nothing fails through the cracks. Okay, so if you have time, um, feel free to research about Asana, Trello, and Monday.com. You'll find a lot of free resources about these tools. Next is time management. You have to learn time blocking techniques and using calendars and scheduling tools like Google Calendar and Calendly. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, like we always say, but how you use them can make a big difference. Time blocking is a great technique where you allocate specific blocks of time for certain tasks. For example, you might block out 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for handling client emails and the rest, of the, uh, the rest of the morning for project work, let's say. So using calendars like Google Calendar or scheduling tools like Calendly helps you stay on track and ensures your meeting deadlines. Another is document management. You have to learn how to organize digital files. Um, this will also involve using cloud storage solutions like Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. Digital clutter can be as stressful as physical clutter. Imagine a scenario where you need to quickly find a specific document for a client, but it's buried in a sea of files. This is where good document management comes in. Use cloud storage solutions like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive to keep everything organized. You may create folders and uh, subfolders for different clients or projects. You, you can also, uh, so you can easily locate what you, what you need and when you need it. Another major skill or in-demand skill is technical skills, okay? 
In today's digital world, having strong technical skills is a must for virtual assistants. These skills allow you to work efficiently and offer a wider range of services. So number one is proficiency in office software, okay? Um, Microsoft Office Suite, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Google Workspace, such as Docs, uh, Sheets, and Slides. So let's start with the basics. This is Office software, okay? Whether you're working on Microsoft Office, uh, again, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Google Workspace, like Docs, Sheets, or Slides, being proficient in these tools is essential. For instance, you might need to create a detailed report for a client using Excel or design a presentation in PowerPoint. Knowing your way around these tools helps you complete these tasks more efficiently and professionally. And you also have to be proficient or knowledgeable about e-commerce platforms. Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, and BigCommerce are among the few. Um, if uh, if you have time, you can check. Or um, just so you know, we have we have a course on um, e-commerce virtual assistant. So if you want to try that, um, if you want to become an e-commerce virtual assistant, you may want to check that out. Okay. If your clients are in the e-commerce space, let's say, uh, familiarity with platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, or BigCommerce is a huge plus. For example, a client might ask you to update their online store's product listings or manage inventory. Understanding how these platforms work allows you to handle such, uh, such tasks with ease and ensures you're providing valuable support to your client's business. And also CRM tools, okay? Um, being or learning technical skills is learning, uh, one of the technical skills you should learn is to learn how to use CRM tools, such as Salesforce, HubSpot, Zoho Z uh, CRM, managing customer relationships and data effectively, okay? Customer relationship management or CRM, tools like, uh, again, Salesforce, HubSpot, or Zoho CRM help businesses manage their interactions with customers. As a VA, you might be tasked with updating customer information, tracking leads, or even analyzing customer data. By mastering these tools, you can help your clients streamline their customer relations and boost their sales efforts. Okay, another major scale or in-demand scale is marketing skills, okay? Um, marketing is key to helping businesses grow. That's a fact. And as a VA, you can play a significant role in this area. Number one is social media management. You have to learn how to create content for platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Scheduling tools like Hootsuite and Buffer. Yes, you should also be knowledgeable. So social media now is where a lot of business happens, okay? If you're managing a client's social media accounts, you'll need to create engaging content, schedule posts, and interact with followers. Tools like Hootsuite and Buffer make it easier to manage multiple platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. For example, you might schedule a week's worth of posts in advance, ensuring that your client's social media presence remain consistent and engaging. You also have to learn email marketing. Um, you have to learn how to, or you have to have some skills using MailChimp, Constant Contact, and ConvertKit. And also you have to know how to craft engaging newsletters and email campaigns. Email marketing is still one of the most effective ways to reach customers. So as a VA, you might use platforms like MailChimp, Constant Contact, GetResponse, or uh, ConvertKit to create and send newsletters, promotional emails, or automated email sequences or se sequences um, imagine a scenario where your client wants to launch a new product. You can help them craft a compelling email campaign that not only informs their audience, but also drives sales. And uh, 
SEO and content creation, okay? So under marketing skills, you have to learn SEO and content creation, basics of search engine optimization or SEO, uh, writing blog posts, articles, and web content, okay? Search engine optimization or SEO is crucial for online visibility. If you're writing blog posts, articles, or web content for your clients, understanding SEO basics can make a big difference. This might involve researching keywords, optimizing content, or, research, or, or search engines, um, and ensuring that the content is relevant and always valuable, okay? For example, writing a blog post that ranks well in search engines can drive more traffic to your client's website, which in turn can lead to more businesses. Okay, you also have to um, have some customer service skills. This is... Um, one of the most in-demand skills for virtual assistant, customer service skills, okay? Providing excellent customer service is vital for any business. And as a VA, you can help ensure that your client's customers are happy and satisfied. You have to learn how to handle inquiries, responding to customer questions and concerns, uh, using customer service platforms like Zendesk and Freshdesk. So you might find yourself in or on the front lines responding to customer questions and concerns. Using customer service platforms like uh, Zendex or Freshdesk allows you to manage these inquiries efficiently. For instance, if a customer has an issue with an order, your prompt and helpful response can turn a potentially negative experience into a positive one. Okay. And... Um, managing returns and refunds, okay? You have to learn how to, um, uh, what are the policies and procedures for e-commerce businesses, and then uh, communicating effectively with customers. So in e-commerce, dealing with returns and refunds is part of the job. Understanding the policies and procedures for handling this situation is key. For example, if a customer wants to return an item, you'll need to communicate clearly with them, uh, process the return, and ensure they're satisfied with the outcome. And of course, under, um, under customer service skills, you have to learn or you have to know how to build customer relationships. What are the techniques for maintaining positive interactions, um, personalizing customer experiences? Long-term success in business often comes down to building strong relationships with customers. As a VA, you can help personalize customer interactions, making each customer feel valued and appreciated. This might involve um, sending personalized follow-up emails or offering special promotions to loyal customers, which can lead to repeat business and positive word of mouth. Another um, most in-demand skills for virtual assistant is financial management skills, okay? So when you don't need to be an accountant, having basic, um, or while you don't need to be an accountant, having basic financial management skills can add significant value to your services as a VA, okay? And uh, what you should learn is basic accounting, understanding bookkeeping principles, using tools like QuickBooks and Xero, okay? Um, basic accounting is understanding the basics of bookkeeping and accounting can help you assist your clients with their financial, uh, financial records or reports. Tools like QuickBooks or Xero are user-friendly and allow you to manage transactions, track expenses, and generate reports. For instance, you might help your client reconcile their accounts at the end of the month, ensuring that all records are accurate and up-to-date. Okay, and part of your job will be invoicing Oh, also, okay? So creating and sending invoices, tracking payments, and managing accounts receivable. Invoicing is a common task for VAs especially if you're managing client accounts, okay? So creating and sending invoices, tracking payments, and following up on overdue accounts are all part of the process. 
By managing these tasks efficiently, you help ensure that your client's cash flow remains healthy. And uh, you have to learn how to budget or budgeting, helping clients create and manage budgets and also financial planning and forecasting. Helping your clients create and manage budget is another way to add value. This might involve forecasting expenses, uh, monitoring spending, and making adjustments as needed. For example, you could assist a client in developing a budget for a new project or helping them allocate resources effectively and avoid overspending. Another major skill or most in-demand skill for virtual assistant is project management skills, okay? Managing projects is a key part of many VA roles, okay? So especially when coordinating with teams and clients. One, uh, one project management skill that you should learn is planning and coordination. Setting project goals and milestones, coordinating with team members and clients. So good project management starts with solid planning. This might involve setting project goals, defining milestones and co coordinating with team members. Imagine your task with launching a marketing campaign, let's say. So by setting clear objectives and coordinating everyone's efforts, you ensure that the project stays on track and meets its goals. And uh, you also have to monitor progress, tracking project progress and deadlines, adjusting plans as needed to stay on track. Once a project is underway, it's important to monitor its progress and make adjustments as needed. Tools like Asana, Trello, uh, Monday.com, or ClickUp allow you to track tasks, set deadlines, and keep everyone informed. For example, if you notice that a particular task is falling behind, you can step in and help get things back on schedule. And uh, you have to learn how to use project management tools, like I always say, okay? Um, Asana, Trello, Monday.com, ClickUp, uh, creating and managing project boards and tasks. Using project management tools effectively can make a big difference uh, in how smoothly a project runs. This tool allows you to create and manage project boards assign tasks, um, set deadlines, and track progress. So by mastering these tools, you can help ensure that your client's projects are completed on time and within budget, okay? And our last um, in-demand or most in-demand skills is adaptability and continuous learning, okay? The world of virtual assistance is constantly changing. So being adaptable and committed to continuous learning is essential, okay? So what you have to do is to stay updated or staying updated, keeping up with industry trends and technology, um, taking online courses and certifications. We have online courses available in our website. If you wanna check that out, please do so, okay? so. Um, technology and industry trends are always, always evolving. And so it's important to stay informed. This might involve taking online courses, attending webinars, and uh, reading industry blogs. For instance, if a few project management tool becomes popular, learning how to use it can keep you competitive and enhance your service offerings. And also you have to be very flexible or the flexibility, adapting to different um, client needs and working environments or work environments, being open to new tools and methods. Being flexible means adapting to different client needs and work environments. For example, one client might prefer using Trello for task management, while another might use Asana. So being able to switch between tools and workflow smoothly shows that you're versatile and easy to work with. And uh, problem solving skills, approaching challenges with a solutions oriented mindset, techniques for creative problem solving. Finally, um, being a good problem solver is key. Challenges will come up, whether it's a technical issue or project roadblock, 
approaching these challenges with a um, solutions-oriented mindset is really important. For example, if a project is falling behind, you might brainstorm alternative approaches or suggest reallocating resources to get things back on track. So there you have it. Um, if or these are some of the most in-demand skills for virtual assistants, okay? Um, let me just uh, have a quick recap. So again, it's communication skills, organizational skills, technical skills, marketing skills, um, customer service skills, financial management skills, project management skills, and the uh, adaptability and continuous learning. Okay, so by developing and honing these skills, you can offer more value to your clients if um, and also uh, stay competitive in the marketplace. You can also grow your VA business if and also if you're a business owner in need of a skilled virtual assistant, our agency is here to help connect you with the right talent to meet your needs. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe or for more tips and insights on how to succeed as a virtual assistant. See you in the next video. Bye.